Hey guys, this is QA Shahin and today we are going to look at SSH setup for GitHub. So let's quickly go through the agenda of this particular session. We're going to look at what is SSH and what SSH is in both Git and GitHub. So what is SSH? SSH is basically a network protocol that is used to allow someone to access something over a network. It stands for Secure Socket Shell and it's a really common protocol that is used especially around servers, especially around anything that really sits in a cloud of some sort. It's a really secure way of effectively gaining access to something through a very secure protocol. So how does Git use SSH and why does it use it? So to understand this, we first need to talk about the concept of accessing something. So in Git, so far as part of our tutorials, what we've been doing is every time we've been pushing something, we've been supplying the username and the password of that given account. However, there is a way where we can bypass all of that and instead use something called a key that both Git and your GitHub account know about. Effectively, it's a key that allows you to establish a quick SSS connection, in other words, a secure connection, and allows your local Git repository to be able to talk to your GitHub repository. And this then allows you to push code, basically push your commits without having to continuously punch in your username and password. So let's quickly see how we can get Git to, first of all, generate a key for us and then we will see how we can actually use that key. So the first thing I need to do is actually generate a key. And to do that is quite simple. It's SSH key gen. And what this will do is allow you to set up a key. Now, when we use this command SSH key gen, this is something that comes as part of Git and allows us to create a key. Now, there are other parameters we can pass in, but for this particular example, a simple key is what we want. So this is basically saying, where do you want to save the key? This particular location is good enough for me. Now, this says I already have an existing key. Do I want to overwrite it? In this case, I'm just going to say yes. If you don't have a key, then obviously you won't see this message. Then it says enter a passphrase. Now, what is this passphrase? Every time you end up using the key for anything, say like a commit. If you decide to have a passphrase, then you will have to enter that passphrase at that point in time. Now, I'm just going to say, nope, I'm okay. I don't want to enter a passphrase. Obviously, if you don't, then you're basically allowing a hole in that level of security. By having a passphrase, you're basically encouraging a little bit more security from the SSH side. For the moment, I'm just going to hit enter. So again, it's asking me to enter the same passwords again, which in my case is nothing. So it's just an enter again. And that's it. That is all it takes to generate a key using Git. So now that we've generated the key, how do we use that key? So Git has allowed us to generate a key. We now need to make some kind of connection between Git and GitHub to be able to use that key. The way we make this connection is to copy the key into GitHub. When we copy the key into GitHub, we can then use our project to be able to talk to the repository using an SSH connection instead. There's a little bit more work we have to do for that as well. When we started this whole GitHub series, if you remember, we actually cloned our project using HTTPS, not SSH. If you used SSH to clone your project, then you won't have to do this one additional step. However, if you have, then you will. It's a really simple thing to do. So the first thing we have to do is actually copy this key that was generated. So if I go into the directory that it was generated in, so this key should have been generated in your root directory. If you go to your root directory and you do an ls minus a, then this will print out all the folders in that directory. And it should have created this particular directory .ssh. 
and it is in this directory where a copy of your key is saved. So if you go to dot SSH and then if I do an ls, this now lists the keys that were generated. So I basically have two keys. There's a private key which is stored inside here. So this is the key that you want to keep safe and you don't want to expose to anyone. This is literally the password if you like. And then there's this key which is the public key. The public key is something that you give to other people, other repositories to allow you to get access to a particular place. So let's say in this instance, we want to gain access to our repository in GitHub. So it is the public key that you will end up copying into GitHub. So let's do that. All I'm going to do, I am going to cat the key. And this now prints out the key. Now again, this is a public key, which means there's no harm in sharing this because all this is basically doing is allowing you to be able to say to someone, this is my private key, which you don't need to know about. However, this is the public version for it. And anything that uses SSH for access ability, you'd provide this public key. So I am going to copy this and I'm going to keep it safe for the moment. So now what we need to do is copy this key into our GitHub repository. So to copy your key into your GitHub, all you do is you go into your settings and then you go to this option here, which is SSH and GPG keys. And when you're in here, select the option to add a new SSH key. And then in the key section, paste in the key. And that's it. It's as simple as that. We should also give the key a title. Now try to give it a very meaningful title. Remember this SSH key exists in the physical location that it was created. So in my case, it is on this machine. So what I want to do is give it a useful name so that every time I create multiple keys, I know where this key came from. So I know as a matter of fact, it was say on this particular machine. So this is the name of my machine. So just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just going to paste that in here. So for future reference, I know which key this machine belongs to. So when you try to add the key, it's going to ask you to confirm your password one more time. And that's it. The key has now been created. So now that we've got a key in GitHub, which you created via Git. What we need to do is to see if we can use this SSH to be able to push code into our repository without having the need to use a password. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the project And just to keep it a bit safe, I'm going to create a new branch because I don't want to work on my master branch. Okay. And on this particular branch, I'm just going to create some really simple test file. And I'm going to add it. And then I'm going to try to commit it. So if I try to commit this, if my project was set up using SSH, then it should not ask me to enter a username and password. If my project was set up, via HTTPS. So this is the protocol that you use to clone the project. It will ask me to provide a username and password. So in this case, it looks like I did not have to provide a username and a password because my project was set up using SSH. And that's basically it. So in this particular video, we saw how to use Git to generate a key. And then we saw how we could upload the key into GitHub. 
and then all we did was we used our project to directly be able to commit to github repository uh, from our local copy without having the need to enter a username and password simply because our project was now set up to use ssh instead so there was a lot of secure access happening in the background so this is a really big benefit to using ssh you don't have to continuously use your username and password to be able to push code thanks a lot for watching this video i'll see you in the next one